Welcome into the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Uh, we are going to discuss the most recent bust in New York City of uh, a crew of one of the five families, the Gambinos. Ten guys that are uh, either members of the Gambinos or close associates of the Gambinos, including some Sicilian mob guys that are uh, operating out of New York and New Jersey under the Gambino umbrella. Uh, were indicted uh, under racketeering extortion um, charges out of Brooklyn uh, last week. And uh, the, the, the lead defendant is Joe Brooklyn, uh, Joe Lonnie, who they call Joe Brooklyn. Uh, he's the capo of the Gambino's uh, Sicilian branch. Um, he's a guy that came up under... Frank Cali, Frankie Boy Cali, um, Lorenzo Menino, uh, Tall Pete Inzarello, some real, real powerhouses. And uh, he was in the news last month, uh, earlier this fall, uh, for an assault case that he took out of New Jersey. Uh, state police uh, or state authorities in New Jersey have charged him with uh, multiple counts of, of assault. Uh, related to an incident in September at the Roxy Bar and Grill in Tom's River, New Jersey, where him and his uh, driver, his bodyguard, a guy named Vinny Slick, or nicknamed Vinny Slick, uh, Mince Caro, I believe his last name is, who's also one of the 10 people that were indicted, uh, were acting unruly and um, had gotten uh, drunk and, and gotten into a tiff with a uh, another patron, uh, the owners of the Roxy Bar and Grill, tossed them out uh, as they were leaving. They made a big to do, a disruption. Then he slick uh, took his hand and uh, punched the wall, took a painting off the wall and threw it down. Uh, Joe Brooklyn uh, threatened to come back and torch the place uh, with everybody inside it. Actually went to a gas station and, and tried to or maybe did purchase a, a, a tank of, a, a, or a like a gasoline, like you would take in a um, a container, or like if you if you ran out of gas on the side of the road and he was going to take it over to the restaurant. Uh, Vinny Slick convinced him not to anyway. According to uh, the police report, they waited for the owners of the Roxy Bar and Grill to come out. Uh, this was September second, early hours of September second, and they attacked them. Slash the cars, uh, slash the wheels to their SUV, threaten to kill them. Um, that is not a charge or account included in this particular racketeering indictment, which is tied to the trash hauling, demolition, construction industry. And if you've been consuming the news over the last week, you, you've gotten you know the highlights. I'm sure. To me, the most interesting part of this is kind of the game within a game when we're talking about the Sicilian faction of the Gambinos, uh, which have been in power now over a decade and, uh, you know, took over um, in the late 2000s into the 2010s with uh, Italian Dom Shefalu and uh, Frankie Boy Cali, um, now Lorenzo Menino. And uh, with if you're reading the, uh, if you read the indictment, you read the detention memo, it's it's interesting to note that the Sicilian the Sicilians that were uh, busted in this, or the Sicilians in general that are operating in the United States that are made on the other side um, and are operating with the uh, protection cooperation um, of the Gambinos aren't allowed to attend making ceremonies. There was a making ceremony according to this detention memo, October two thousand nineteen. Uh, Danny Tantillo and J Joey, uh, or sorry, Jimmy uh, Laforte were made into the uh, Gambinos. And uh, these are guys that are underneath Joe Brooklyn. Uh, Jimmy Laforte's grandfather was Joe the Cat Laforte, who was a John Gotti, Neil De La Croche, uh, uh, Capo regime, and a big time real estate guy, owned all the property in, 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 little, in little Italy. Uh, where the Ravenite Social Club was. And uh, 
it, there's there's a text exchange that's included in the detention memo of Danny Tantillo talking to a, a, a guy who's also in this bus, a Sicilian um, mob soldier named Vito, Ra uh, Vito Rappi, Rappi, uh, Rappa. And uh, Rappa couldn't attend the ceremony for Tantillo to get his button in the Gambinos, despite the fact that he was one of the people that uh, helped him rise through the ranks. And they're, they're, the morning that Tantillo is going to get made, I think it was October 17th, 2019 he gets a text from rappa saying you know they're, they're they're trying to talk in code but it's pretty obvious uh you know good morning congratulations on the new uh the new job and i hear you're signing the contract tonight i wish i could be there uh it's uh, it will be like i'm there i'm so proud of you and then uh tantillo responds you know i uh, i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and there are, there are great things on the horizon but it it's interesting to note that even the Sicilian mob guys that have their button that are made guys uh, from Sicily operating, you know, as members of the Gambino crime family for all intents and purposes in the United States aren't allowed to go, to go to those making ceremonies. You think that since the Gambino Sicilian wing is in charge of that whole organization, they might um, take that rule and, and eliminate it. Um, maybe they're the ones that, that put the rule in in the first place. I don't know, but uh, I, I found it, interesting the detention memo also uh, references the assault that uh joe brooklyn and and, and vinnie slick are alleged to have perpetrated uh within the that the, the 48 hours between when when vinnie slick and joe brooklyn get booted out of the roxy bar and grill they or i should say joe brooklyn is alleged to have called the two of the owners of, of the roxy's bar and grill 40 times in um in like a 26 hour period or something. And, and they have him, uh, I believe recorded telling the owner that he needs to beg for his life and beg for forgiveness. Um, it, it's, it's pretty incriminating and damning, damning uh, for Joe Lani, who is again, the, the capo of, of that, of that Gambino, uh, faction. So, and it, it, it should also be said that we know that Lani is very close to Menino based on a, a report, from from gangland news um that that lonnie attended uh uh kind of a state funeral with um lorenzo menino back in december of 2022 where uh lucchese uh former lucchese underboss frank lasterino uh his funeral in wake was uh attended by menino the the reputed acting boss or street boss of the gambinos and joe lonnie was was flanking him so well, we'll keep you updated, but it, it's interesting to dissect um, the indictment and, and, and just see that, that there was this kind of the, a banning of, uh, of the zips, the real zips uh, from, from American making ceremonies. But we'll keep, up, we'll keep you updated with this case uh, as it goes through the court system. I'm Scott Bernstein for the OG Pod, out.